welcome to Shaw TV. I'm Kevin Hirschfield. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, also known every year as International Women's Day. Joining us now to talk about what they are doing locally to celebrate is Christine Williams, a board member at the Institute of International Women's Rights, the Manitoba Winnipeg chapter, I think we can call it. Uh, before we talk about what you guys are doing locally, though, International Women's Day celebrated March 8th every year. What are some examples of events that go on around the world? Uh, well, it started in the early 1900s, so it grew as more of a way to gain rights for women and to encourage um, other people in the society to accept women as equal members. And then it's grown more as every year as a celebration of women and a gathering of women, um, almost as a as a way to recognize women and the work they've done uh, throughout the years. And then it's also a way for women to get out there and to do marches, to strike, um, to have their voices heard, and to um, really ensure that the things that we're going through as women in society um, are really heard throughout the larger society. Do you feel this day has gotten specifically bigger and maybe in the last decade, two decades or so, you think it's grown? Uh, if so, why would you say that? I do, personally I do. And uh, there are members on our board from uh, Nigeria and other countries in Africa and they say that all, every woman in their community stops working, gets out of work, goes onto the streets, really engages with other people in the community. And it's really this big celebration. And perhaps it's not that big right now in uh, Northern American countries, uh, but hopefully one day it'll get there. Take us through the event on Friday. You're holding it in a couple days on Friday, not today, but um, what's gonna be happening at the event and just some other details, when it is, where it is. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it, uh, Doors open at 6.30, starts at 7. It's at Knox United Church, 400 Edmonton Street, I believe. And it's called Sisters Walking for Change. It's an open event, it's a community event. Um, it's free of charge. There will be a pass the hat for donations. Um, what's gonna be happening there is uh, the local, there's a Sarasvati Productions, is a local theater community uh, group. And they, what they do is they are going to have some of their monologues. And so we're going to see some of that. It's going to be entertainment. There's going to be jiggers. So there's going to be dancing. And uh, there'll be refreshments. And then the proceeds from the donations go to two different organizations. Family First Foundation, which uh, helps out uh, families of missing and murdered Indigenous women. And then also Welcome Place, which um, provides a lot of funding to newcomers to Winnipeg. Awesome, yeah. and you're gonna be the master of ceremonies at the event. Yep. That sounds fun. Um, what are some other events maybe throughout the year that the IIWR puts on that you can think of? Yeah, well, uh, every second year we do a local to global event. We bring in a big name speaker and we rent out the Viscount Gord and it's like 400 people and it's this huge event uh, focused on certain issues. Um, we do a lot of work with Indigenous women, Indigenous communities. Um, we promote the, the voices of women, the work that women do. We do a lot of events educating uh, students, educating the community. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, and maybe to sum up, put a bow on this conversation. What's mm -hmm. the goal of Friday's event? What do you hope people are kind of left with when they leave the event? Uh, we hope it's a celebration of women. And we hope that uh, instead of focusing on some of the darker things that we often do focus on, we talk about women's rights. We hope that we can really shed uh, some light on and uh, some encouragement for the future for women. Okay. Christine Williams, thank you so much for this. Part of the Institute for International Women's Rights here in Winnipeg. Their event goes this Friday.